Hi, in this session I'll show you how to create a panel chart or series of panel charts. Panel charts are also known as trellis charts and they fall under the concept of um, small multiples by Edward Tufte. Basically what we're trying to do here is show a relationship or comparison of data in smaller charts across multiple variables. It makes it easier to do uh, comparisons. So for example, maybe we have the sales data from different regions, north, south, east, west. So from a period of January to June uh, and from uh, zero to 2,000 units, these axes are going to be similar throughout the different uh, charts. And so we can just kind of look across and see how things are doing. Now there's ways to orient these charts. You can orient them horizontally so you can also orient them vertically. Let me go ahead and just minimize uh, the ribbon here. Double click here to minimize it. So you can see that we can also orient it vertically. And once we do that, there's some liberties that we can take in terms of minimizing the amount of things that you see on the chart. So in this example, we are since we orient it vertically, we don't have to have the January to June labels repeat it for each of the charts. There's kind of an assumption at the bottom here that January is going to go all the way up, February is going to go all the way up, and March, and etc. So that leaves a lot of space for the other charts once we've kind of baselined it for uh, the first chart here. Now the same here. We Even though we have the labels here going across vertically, this vertical, this horizontal label, it's kind of implied that it goes across. Now when you create these charts you have to make sure, at least for the vertical part, you need to make sure that the minimum and maximum uh, access points here are the same for all the charts. So let's get into how we create these charts. Let me go ahead and bring back the ribbon here. Double click that to bring it back, expand it. Now I'm getting those charts from this table. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this table onto another chart. Oh, so one, one case in point. Now if, if we didn't have panel charts and we had a line chart of all this data, this is what it would look like potentially. So you can see here it's a little bit confusing and it's really hard to make some comparisons. Imagine this was only four, uh, I guess, categories. If this, was, if this was more, this would be very, uh, I guess, hard to do any kind of a relationship or comparisons. So let's see how we can do this. Let me go ahead and copy this. Control C to copy. Go into another sheet here. Control V to paste. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to select. So I'm just going to go ahead and select one of the series of data and go under insert. I'm going to have a line chart. So I'm going to select this line chart here. So this is north. What I can do now is I can just start formatting all of this to what I like. So let's go with creating a horizontal panel chart. So I'm going to have a block here. South is going to be here, west is going to be here, east is going to be here, etc. So let's go ahead and format this chart to the eventual final output and what we're going to do is duplicate it. So I don't want to have these bars here, these grid lines. I'm going to select that and press delete. I don't want a legend. Go ahead because I've already got a title up here. I'm going to go ahead and press delete and since it's going to be horizontal, that this first one's fine. So I'm going to also resize this. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, actually, let me go ahead and change the minimum and maximum here. The minimum is fine, zero, but I want to change that maximum to 2,000. So I'm going to select that, right click, and go into Format Axis. And then under the maximum, I'm going to have it fixed to 2,000 to delete that 2,000. So click Close. And now that is set. Now I'm going to go ahead and resize it. Let me go ahead and resize this make this a little smaller so I can see it across. Let's see. All right. I want to kind of fit it within one, two, three, four, five columns and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten rows. So if I want to make this kind of neat, maybe I'll make it uh, less than ten. If I want to make this kind of neat, I can just press the Alt key and resize this. Just click on the, wait till that turns into a two-headed arrow and resize that. It's going to click and fit into the grid. So if you can see that if I moved it out, you can see it, it clicks and fit, it fits into the grid. If I didn't press the Alt key, it would be kind of a little smoother movement. Now I press the Alt key, it's going to fit into the specific grid. So I'm going to move this up. And I think that's 
the way that I want it. So after that is set, I can just click on that and press Control D three times because I'm going to create one for south and one for east and one for west. And once I do that, well, actually, uh, let me undo. Let me do undo twice because what I want to do is the next one. Let me go ahead and fit it in here. Alt, press the Alt key and just kind of move it under here. What I want to do is I want to remove this particular particular label. It's all set. The maximum is at 2,000, so that's set. But I want to remove this. I want to make this invisible. So I'm going to right click, go into Format Axis, and then for the Axis label, I'm going to go ahead and click select None. Let me go ahead and move this over. So now it's gone. So so it implies that the Axis labels here they span across the different charts. So I'm going to go ahead and click Close, and that is set. Now I can go ahead and delete. Excuse me. Now I can go ahead and duplicate this chart two more times. Select to try to select it. Control D to duplicate. Control D again to duplicate. So I'm going to move this one. Oops. Control Z. Let me undo that. Now I'm going to press the Alt key and snap it into the grid here, and then select this one. Press the Alt key and snap it into grid. Oops. Snap it into grid here. Let me go back. Now I've got all these north. So all I need to do now is just change the data. So I click on the chart here. You can see that if I clicked on the chart here, oops, if I click on the chart in the plot area, you can see it selected the area in the table here. I want to make this south, so I just have to click my mouse and move it down. And since I clicked on the plot area, it moved it. So it moved the references to south, and the title moved there, and the data it moved into the chart. I can do the same here now for north. Click into the chart, you can see the it's selected here. I'm just going to click and move that. Left click and move that. And now I've got east. Click here and then click from north to west. And now I have my panel chart. Let me go ahead and reduce the size here. So now you have the panel chart going horizontally. I've got my 0 to 2000. This kind of matches if I click on here. And you can see it's a little harder to click here on the axis. If you have a problem with doing that, and if I've clicked in here and you're having some issues kind of click on there, I kind of got lucky clicking there to select the access. Sometimes you can't. You can actually just go and click on anywhere in the chart and go into the layout or format tab. And under here in the current selection, you can actually do a drop down and it'll let you select the different areas of the chart. And so what I want to select is that vertical access area right there. Now, if I right click that, you can see that it's kind of disappeared. So another way to get into the get into that window where I selected it. Let me go ahead and go under here, go to Format Value Access, let's press Control 1. It's going to bring up the Format Access window where I can adjust some of the um, attributes. So that's where I can select None, and of course this was selected to None. So if you have issues trying to select different parts of the chart, you can always go into Layout or Format and go use this drop down to select it and press control one similar it will be similar to a right click so this is how you create the vertical excuse me the horizontal panel chart if you want to do the same with the vertical it's the same thing you're you're basically going to uh, create one chart that is your baseline that's got the data and go ahead and select the maximum axis and then use the alt key and place the charts appropriately in the grid and just fine tune it as we did with the horizontal chart. Now this is kind of like in a nice space, there's no grid lines here. The way that we remove grid lines in Excel in the worksheet is you go under view and you select this check mark, unselect it and see the grid lines are gone. And so now you have kind of a nice view of this panel chart. So these panel charts are nice for, for dashboards and this is just a simple way of creating them, uh, just putting them together so you can get a nice comparison of data. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.